Hi all and welcome back to my first ever ongoing let's play of Void Swept and as per usual we are of course in the ruined village and we are about to head out to a new area. It had to be done, had to pet the cute cat. Uh, but before we head out, as per usual, if you happen to like this video or even better this channel, I would love it if you dropped a sub or like. And I would also welcome any and all comments because that's the only way I know if I'm doing this right or just super wrong or anything in between. And having said that, I am sort of thinking, yes, I do that occasionally. Uh, maybe we should try some of the new dudes. Well, new dudes, other dudes, because um, we haven't really done that. I'm not sure if they scale up with the main party, so to speak. And um, also, let's start with this. Think skill shop. I think I want to have more skills. Yes, this one is the one I am sort of looking for. We got the ice magic and it would be kind of nice to have the fire magic as well. Yes. Okay, so. Let's see. Maybe Char. Even though he doesn't have as much, but it's not super far away. We also have the skill slots for it. We should probably get him like at least one passive skill. Yeah, this one would probably be a good one. Pyromancy. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, swap out. I'm not sure who I should swap out though. Let's uh, do it like this. Flash travel. So now we can go to Shilling Tundra entrance. A tundra where snow falls ceaselessly. But we could also like go back to the first area and see how good the other characters are without facing tough, tough enemies. So let's do that real quick. Danger level one. Oh, and also we still have all the yellow roses and we will eventually work on that. What's up? Add to party. Oh wow, so they don't really scale. Rank 20. Yeah, well that's a thing. Okay, let's... Uh... Yeah, so that's also a thing. I don't think any one of these have... Oh well. Let's do a bit of grinding and I will probably edit out most of this, but keep you in the loop uh, on levels and stuff. Alright, so I have my original team again and that demands, well, an explanation of sorts. Uh, first of all, the experience in this area was super low even for the new guys, but I ran into this area and noticed that different colored flame thing and I'm sort of thinking boss battle that wasn't here before 
So I gathered up my original crew, just to see what this is. A strong enemy stands before you. Engage. Engage. Oh boy. Yeah. That's a boss. Hmm. Okay. Gargantuan thorns. Wondering if a certain prior damage would be, uh, you know. should start dishing these up. Very nice. Let's do a fortify. Very nice. Oh yeah, let's do that. So I can do this. No, I don't want to do that. I want to just do a defense. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. everyone back. Okay. Hmm. 
might actually be uh, worth doing that. <laughs> we wanted to cast that for like six rounds. Oh, come on. Save side. Should have used this on her. Well, that sucked a little bit. I mean, come on. That's not fair. Two in a row.
Oh no. Let's do that. Not a bad idea. Whoo! We have rank ups. 26. For the entire team. Rosemary Scythe? Looks like a really good axe and almost 7,000 gold. And we have the achievement unlocked. Flower Gardening. That must have been a secret boss. How cool is that? Yeah, so. As I mentioned, not really worth grinding experience for the other characters in this area. Because they get minute amounts. But we got ourselves an additional boss. And that is not shabby at all. So that was kind of cool, okay. So let's stock up on things. And I want to get Selena into the party, because she's the one with the axe, right? No, she's the one with the bow. Curses. Just kidding. You're the one with axe. Rebouge. At party. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, this is the best one we could get for him at the moment, but... Quite a lot better. Yes. Why not? Indeed. So we can do... Those two, maybe? Also need some passive stuff. All right. I wonder if there's like new bosses in other areas, but we should Let's go back to the the, the campfire thing and see Check out the last boss area again because Okay, that looks like a boss. A strong enemy stands before you engage. Engage, I guess, maybe? Grim Revenant. Let's see if this does anything. Okay. 
Okay, that was good. That was good. Think it does blind. Yeah. He still has that. Nice. Oh, and a skill up. Okay, so let's start glad that I uh, bought some more of these. Let's see, let's give Zion some as well. Well, that didn't work as well as I wanted. Oh, nice. That wasn't bad at all. some of that in there again. Nice. We got to rank 27, and he got a rank as well, so he's 23. Kaladanda? It's like a stat, and almost 7,000 more gold. And we have the achievement unlocked, Exorcism. Okay, so that's very cool. We got two, I think, optional bosses. I mean, that's not bad.
and Cyan has one as well. So... Who should get that though? Let's see... Okay, that, that... That is very good. Yeah. Let's give that to by me. We still have some... Uh, blanks here and there, even in the upper segment. I would imagine that all of these are in areas we haven't visited yet. So we got the Mimic, the Greater Mimic, and kind of want to see... Yeah. Uh, where have we got them? Yeah, so you had 11,523 in life. You can see it also gave us the Rosemary Scythe. It's pretty cool. What was the name of the one we just killed? Oh, there we have it. So we had 12,488 and looking pretty cool as well. So I think this might actually be a good place to end off this part. It became a optional boss run. I hope you had as much fun as I had, and that you might hit those like subscribe buttons. I also hope to see you again in the very next video. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.